Hi guys, in this video we'll be drawing the above tangency problem. First, we'll start with a horizontal line. Next, I will draw a vertical line. I will also draw another vertical line, 48 mm from this vertical line. So I will mark 48 mm from this vertical line. There is a horizontal line here that is 42 mm from this horizontal line. So I will mark 42 mm from this horizontal line. Now it is time to produce cycles. There is a cycle here of diameter 24 mm. That is a radius of 12 mm. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 12 mm and produce the cycle. There is another cycle there of diameter 48 mm, that is 24 mm radius. So I will adjust my compass to 24 mm and produce the cycle. There is a cycle here of radius 8 mm. So I will adjust my compass to radius of 8 mm and produce the cycle. The smaller cycle here is having a diameter of 15 mm. That is a radius of 7.5 mm. The larger cycle there is having a diameter of 34 mm. That is 17 mm radius. Now it is time to produce the tangential arcs. I will start with the lower tangential arc here. As you can see, it is an external arc, so we are adding. So, and the radius of this large cycle here is 24 millimeter. That is the diameter is 48 millimeter, making the radius 24 millimeter. So, and the radius of the tangential arc that we are about to produce is 36 mm. So we add 24 and 36, which will give us 60 mm. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 60 mm, then I can now produce the arc. So after adjusting my compass to 60 mm, I will place the compass on the center of this cycle. Then I will cut arc this way. So at this side here, the radius of this cycle is 8 mm. So we'll add 8 and 36, which will give us 44 mm. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 44 mm. Then I can now cut arc at this point. The arc should intersect this arc. The point where the arcs intersect is the center of the tangential arc. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 36 mm because the tangential arc is 36 mm radius. So I can now produce the tangential arc.
Then I will place my compass on the point where the arcs intersect. Then I will produce my tangential arc. The upper tangential arc here is an internal arc, so we subtract. So we subtract the radius of the tangential arc from the radius of the cycle. So let's start with this cycle. For this cycle here, the diameter of this cycle here is 48 millimeter, which is 24 millimeter radius. So we minus 24 from 88 because 88 is the diameter of, is the radius of the tangential arc. So 88 minus 24 will give us 64. I will adjust my compass to a radius of 64 millimeter and cut an arc. So for the other cycle here, that is for this cycle, the diameter of this cycle here is 34 millimeter which is 17 millimeter radius. So we minus 17 from 88 millimeter. So which will give us 71 millimeter. So I will adjust my compass to 71 millimeter and produce the arc. The arc should intersect the previous arc. Now, using a radius of 88 mm, I will place my compass on the point where the arcs intersect. Then I can now produce the tangential arc. Now there is a tangential line here, I will draw it. Now I will make bold the parts that are supposed to be bold, then I will dimension my work. If you have any question on engineering and technical drawing in general, you can message me on WhatsApp. The number displayed is my WhatsApp number. Also, if you find this video helpful, share the video with your colleague. It will also be helpful to them.